South Portland's new middle school is set to open this fall. It will combine the city's two middle schools, Mahoney and Memorial. Memorial's being demolished. The city will take ownership of Mahoney. Students in grades five through eight will attend that new middle school, and it is a big transition for them and the teachers. Here's Chris Costa. Yes, because all of our kids are included. As this school year comes to an end, these teachers are already focusing on next year. Yes. Already, the teachers have questions. So every middle schooler. I think it's going to be a harder transition for the adults than it is the kids. Are we doing for math and humanities intervention? Is it like this fall, Kate Porter's classroom at Memorial Middle School in South Portland will no longer exist, a place where she's taught for the last 20 years. It, it's very bittersweet. The friends the memories she made in that building. It's hard to let go, but new beginnings are always great too. With this new beginning, teachers from South Portland's two middle schools are coming together under one roof, one that doesn't leak. But it was, it was, it was our home, so we were proud of it no matter what. All right, let's get to math. Proud, too, of what they do, teaching, collaborating, and serving kids, now unified in one state-of-the-art building. Better than the way it's been when some kids had to travel across town to get the services they need. It just is going to make everything richer and deeper and more efficient, which in a school is exactly what needs to happen. More efficient, too, in its energy. It's more eco-friendly. Geothermal energy heats and cools the school. The heat gets in there, it gets superheated on the backside. Solar panels on the side of the building generate electricity and shade. And just wait till you see what's up there. The team designed this middle school with sustainability in mind, with everything from solar panels on the roof to these drains that collect rainwater and send them to cisterns to irrigate the athletic fields. Principal Rebecca Stern loved the old schools too and recognizes the promise of the new one. It's going to expose them to new and different ways of thinking, creativity, um, exploration, all, all of the, the ways of being in the world that we need our future to be like. This is an amazing facility. It's geared for 21st century learning. It's focused on sustainability. It's one of the best opportunities any superintendent has. Another opportunity lies in the counseling area. It isn't just about their math and their science and their, you know, their core subject. It's, it's looking at the whole child and how to help that whole child learn. When more than 1,000 people, both students and teachers, walk the freshly painted halls this fall, they'll see some familiar features. So underneath the wood there, underneath the, the stair, we'll be re reusing the, uh, the wood from the Memorial School gym. Taking the memories with them because it's not steel and wood that make a school. We all realized it was the people and the people are all coming with us and we'll always have those memories and the kids are coming with us and they're really excited about it. We can leave the building behind. We'll always have pictures and videos and things like that. And it's a new beginning in South Portland. That was Chris Costa reporting the floors, walls and lockers of the school. Get this, they're all color coded so people don't get lost. Would have been helpful when I was in school. The goal of the school was to make it taller, but less sprawling. And they said they have prepared the structure in case they need to expand.